Hey, I'm PMR. I'm a Sony artisan of imagery. I'm here to talk to you today about tracking on. Brand new from Sony. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've assembled here uh, three of the most expensive uh, cameras that Sony makes right now. This is the FX9, which is um, $11,000. Here's the FX6, the unicorn, if you will. Uh, $6,000, and then the Alpha One, which is $6,500 just for the body. None of these three cameras are able to leave touch autofocus when you've set them to shoot video. And so what happens is people typically that are shooting sports are going to stop at a 7200 because that's about the longest focal length you can use effectively and do touch autofocus on the fly when you're shooting a game, especially with a game you know, when you're using the EVF. So the, the electronic viewfinder in the Alpha One is way superior to using a stovepipe on either of the two FX series cameras. Uh, and the FX3 doesn't even have an EVF. So for those of us that have spent a lifetime behind the viewfinder, sports photographers shooting stills, when we want to make the transition into shooting video action, uh, there's a problem. And that is that we want to use long lenses way beyond 200 millimeter. We want to use the 200 to 600 G. We want to use the 400 to 8. We want to use the 600 GM. We're crippled kind of because we have to use touch autofocus in order to get tracking to work or we have to use manual focus. So those are your choices. And it just doesn't work. When you're working off a monopod, it's very difficult to figure out how to get things in focus really fast moving action when you're shooting super tight. It just doesn't work. And so people by default drop down, even if they're using a, a 100 to 400 zoom or a two to six, they're gonna be sort of at 200 or 300 millimeter. They're not gonna dive up into the you know, higher focal lengths. Um, and so these cameras are really, I won't say useless, but you have to use manual focus in order to get the job done pretty much until now. <laughs> and so this is a big deal. I'm gonna set these aside because they are not what we're gonna be talking about today. Even the Alpha One's gonna get set aside, which is, you know, hurts my heart. This is the A7R Mark V. Now, when they came out with this camera, they talked about a lot of different advantages of it. You know, the new processing off the 61 megapixel chip, of course, the new funky viewfinder that'll go any direction, which is really cool. But, as they often do, Sony blew the lead. And for those of us that shoot action, performance, sports, whatever, um, this camera has a capability that none of the other Sony cameras to date have. Um, there is a way to choose uh, on the back button. There's a button called AF on. And if you go into the menu, into custom key dial setting on the video settings, you can choose uh, any of these three buttons on the back to be what's called tracking on. Now what that means is that when you push the button, whichever one you, I, I basically put the AEL button and the AF on button, both of them are set to tracking on. And what this now means is that for the very first time, users of this camera, only this camera, the A7R5, are able to activate tracking autofocus without touchscreen. And what that means is you can put the indicator in the center of the camera on whatever you want, whatever subject you want, whether it's a running back or a quarterback or you know, basketball, whatever. And once you push and hold the AF on button, it will then track only that subject until you let go. Now this is a huge deal. Uh, I can't even describe to you. I've spent so much time trying to work with these cameras to get them to do this, and they won't. Uh, you can set up a custom function button, but it will force the camera into AFS. Same thing on Alpha One, it forces it into AFS. And so tracking on is a new feature that is only available in A7R5, and it works really, really well. Now, I went to a basketball game uh, the other night. I set up the camera to be able to accomplish this, and I shot uh, half the game, and then I evaluated what I was doing. I discovered a problem when I did that. When you set the camera up for tracking on, um, what happens is when you press the, and hold the button, it's going to, whatever's in the center of the viewfinder, it's gonna activate and track on that. Now, once you're tracking, you can then recompose at will 
put the subject on the far left, right, center, wherever you want the subject to be. And no matter, as long as that subject doesn't leave the frame, the camera will track on that subject. While it's doing that, it's going to be doing um, face detection and IAF. It's going to recognize the body. The entire AI system that's in the A7R5 is going to be activated. The only issue that I have found is that when you do this, um, when you let go of the AF on button, the camera automatically starts hunting and starts focusing on whatever is the closest to itself. Now, uh, at halftime, I figured out a way around that, and that was by using the focus hold button on the side of the lens. Now, typically, I have that set for punching in or zooming on, on the sensor to APS-C. But I reversed it, and I actually put it back to focus hold. And so in doing this, on the second half of the game, I was able to activate tracking autofocus by with my right thumb. And then when I wanted to cancel that, I could let go and then punch in the focus hold button on the camera. It's kind of like driving stick shift. But what it allowed me to do is hold focus at a, diff dis at a given distance of like maybe the point guard way up on the top of the key. And then I was able to wait until somebody came closer. Then I could reacquire with my right thumb, let go of the left thumb, and then track them into the basket. So my second half, I would say on the first half, I was probably shooting 50% of what I wanted. Um, but after I figured out how to use the focus hold with tracking on, on the AF on button, I was all of a sudden in the 80, 85% range of getting what I wanted. Now this is very exciting because what it means is that sports photographers since, since the EOS 630, now this is going back to like the late 80s, um, that's where, where the function four button or back button focus began. It's that long ago. And so some of us have been doing this forever. And what this means is that now with the skills we already have, we can now go out armed with an A7R5 and a long lens and a monopod and we can now shoot as tight as we want to and track with incredible efficiency and accuracy. This is such a big deal and the lead was like completely blown by Sony when they announced the camera. So tracking on is revolutionary. Now the big question in everyone's mind, myself included, is this camera costs a fraction of what the Alpha 1 costs. But the Alpha 1 cannot achieve instant on tracking. These cameras uh, hopefully will be able to get that ability through a firmware upgrade. I hope, I hope, I hope the Alpha 1 will. But until that happens, if that happens, the A7R5 is the greatest sports camera for shooting video on the planet. And uh, I would invite you to call your local rep, your pro rep, and see if you can figure out how to get one in your hands to try and test because this is the beginning of a whole new era of sports videography where you can shoot a long lens with a monopod, not having to use a tripod, forget touch focus on the back of the camera. You can actually look in the gorgeous EVF, which is way higher resolution than any, any EVF you're going to get on a, a, a true pro video camera. Uh, and it's already built in. You don't have to buy anything extra. So this is very exciting. Um, I'm going to be doing more and more with uh, tracking on in the near future with the A7R5, and I will hope you know post some videos. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the second half of the game uh, where I figured out how to do the focus hold, and then you can see I'm going to slow some things down so you can kind of see the autofocus working. Notice the referee when it comes in front of me how the referee is the butt goes in focus in the first half of the game, but in the second half of the game, the referee's butt, when it comes by, does not go in focus, and it stays a fuzzball because I've held the focus where I told the camera to. I am super pumped about this, if you can't ex tell from my excitement, but this is a huge, huge deal, and this could affect NFL films. It's going to affect all kinds of college football, people that are tasked with getting great action, video action um, of every game they shoot. Uh, it's very exciting stuff. So... Put your questions or comments in, you know, below and uh, let's tear it up. Let's figure this out together. If you figured out a way to get autofocus to shut off when you lift off the AF on button, let me know. Because if I could get that done, I'd be very, very happy. Because then I could actually have the 100% what I want the camera to do.
Hopefully in the near future, Alpha One will get tracking on. I am just praying for that. So Sony, if you're hearing me, tracking on in the Alpha One, please. And an A9, A9 II, that would be awesome, if possible. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Sorry this was a long one, but it was a lot to explain. And uh, happy holidays. Thank you.